Hi guys, welcome to Techno News. This is episode 38 for the 24th of April. Remember to hit the thumbs up on the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I would appreciate that. Leave a comment or any sort of remote or anything just to generate some engagement would be appreciated. Any feedback is appreciated though, so please let me know what you think of this. Follow me on X and TikTok at Technofish Live. And if you want to discuss this or any other videos, please pop by my live streams from around 10 o'clock p.m. UK here on YouTube Gaming. Right, let's jump into the news, shall we? Right, guys, so a bit of a personal update to start with uh, this time. Uh, I have missed, it's sort of been a bit sporadic the last few weeks, to be honest. And I do apologise for that. The reason for doing so is I've been having a lot of issues with me PCs and sort of stuff behind the scenes going on as well. But um, for the most part, for me PC situation, um, the PC I use to do the recording and live streaming was just an old office PC, but it's finally give up the ghost and decided to uh, not work anymore. Um, so... That bearing that in mind, I sort of felt lucky in a way with the timing of it. We had a little bit of money to play with, so I've managed to source a replacement. And yeah, it's it's quite a significant upgrade to be honest. Um, so the what I've managed to do is replace the old gaming PC with a newer one. So the old gaming PC is now the streaming PC. Um. And it's hopefully given me the chance to up the quality of the videos and the live streams, um, sort of produce better video standards and stuff like that. So I'm hoping going forward I can learn how to use that more to my advantage as such, just to give you a better viewing experience. Um, and as I said, it has been quite a hefty upgrade I managed to get, to be honest. Um, so I replaced my gaming PC. So the old, the new stream PC was the old gaming one with the Ryzen 7. And it did have a 1050 Ti in it, but I've swapped that out for a 1660 that come in this one. Um, and I'm hoping that gives us enough power, as I said, to increase the quality of the video feed, um, both live and recorded and also give us hopefully a bit more leeway to do some more effects and things like that down the line once i learn about that side of things the new gaming pc has got a ryzen 9 on an eorus ultra board and i managed to get a 3080 or an rtx 3080 sorry um which should allow us to run games better the games i have been playing hopefully open up other games that I was only able to play prior. Uh, let us know what you think of these upgrades. Um, if you want to discuss anything, please come by my streams. And if you've got any game recommendations, please hit me up in the comments. I'd be very grateful for that. Um, speaking of newer games, I was hoping to play a bit of X Defiant. It was doing a play test last weekend, but because of all the issues and getting things set up and having me little one around and stuff, I didn't really get a chance to get on there. Um, but from all reports, I didn't really seem to miss a lot from where I gather. People still had gripes with the net code. Um, there was limited options available. There was had hit registration and stuff was off the mark because of the net code and stuff like that. Um, so apparently they sort of shot themselves in the foot a bit with that. Ubisoft being Ubisoft have also shot themselves a bit in the foot with the Star Wars Outlaws. Apparently there's been a bit of an uproar regarding the pricing of it. Um, some reports stating that it can cost anywhere up to around £200 all in if you include the battle passes and the limited editions. And apparently some of the missions are locked behind the pier wall so you cannot access it. They did do a bit of a backtrack on that and say the missions will be available to wall. It's just a matter of how you access them. Um, so if you pay all the extra money, you can get straight into these extra missions instead of having to wait to unlock them down the line. Um, with regards to pricing, I don't know. I think we've sort of been lucky a little bit that game prices haven't increased over the years anyhow, to be honest. I mean, I remember paying £70-ish 
for Street Fighter 2 and the SNES. Um, but there has been a bit of an increase recently. You're looking near about £90 towards 100 for a limited edition version of games and things like that. But, um, yeah, it's, we'll have to keep an eye on it and see if there are any other spikes. But, obviously, because of the situation the world's in at the minute um, with all the sort of fuel poverty and food poverty and things like that people are struggling is it the right time to increase costs mm, i don't know let us know what you think uh, with regards to that there's been word of a new rts game in the works from the guys who made starcraft and stuff um they've set up their own development studio uncap games and they want to create a new rts paradigm shift there's a documentary video on youtube which is actually quite interesting i'll put the link in the description below um where they discuss the impact on rts and now they want to make a game to redefine the genre um it's well worth a watch if you're into that sort of thing uh, it'd be good to get some more games like this back in circulation. I mean, uh, I'm sort of out the loop anyhow. I mean, I haven't really played an RTS since the Laser Dawn of War and stuff grabbed my attention back in the day. Um, let us know what you guys think. But as I said, I will put the link to that documentary video in the description if you want to give that a watch. It is quite interesting and David Kim sort of goes into quite some detail about stuff there. Um... And then that sort of brings us to the Valorant news. As I said, it's a bit of a short one, really. It's just I've had a lot of issues trying to get the scenes the way I want them to be and how to move things around and tidy things up and stuff. So it took longer than I thought to actually get something produced. But hopefully, back from sort of this week, we'll make a big push with regards to all this. Um, so there's been links of a new bundle. Um, which is going to be sort of flower themed or spirit blossom themed from League of Legends. Um, there's going to be a pink variant, which a lot of people have been calling out for. The melee is apparently going to be similar to the Q&I, which is sort of the chains and the knives from what I gather. Um, the pack will include an op, phantom, sheriff, judge and the melee. Maybe worthwhile, I'll have to keep an eye on it and see what's what, but... Um, I was open for some different guns to be honest so i'll probably give this one a miss but i'll see what the judge is like i may pick that one up and there's also been a bit of a hoo-ha video um, where the devs have pulled split from the map pool um as of immediate effect due to some exploits found on the map um there's a boost you can get on top of above one of the sites um and pick people off from way high up and they kind of sort of fight back um which can be accessed obviously by jet without updrafts and things but other agents can do that with siege walls and things like that um there's also a lot of speculation around ciphers tripwires and issues that are caused with them uh, I think he's a bit OP at the minute anyhow. I don't know if they need to rethink the actual maps or the effects the tripwires have. Um, but it, to me, Sunset's pretty much unplayable because of him. Uh, some of the places you can place them and the amount of time it takes you to sort of work out where the hell they're actually attached to and the amount of time you're stunned so you can't really turn around and clear them out of the way um yeah he, he does my head in any especially when i'm using neon and stuff but a lot of people probably know my thoughts on that from when i'm doing my streams but let us know what you guys think um what fixes need to be made um if any or if you agree with what i'm saying um and that's pretty much it for the news. Unfortunately, like I said, it is a pretty quick one to do. I'm just I've spent most of the day trying to get my scenes and stuff how I want them. Hopefully the video quality is a lot cleaner for you guys and you can see a lot more of it. Um Hopefully it just looks a bit tidier. 
and runs smoother and yeah let us know what you think in the comments in the meantime if as i said if you don't want to talk about this or any of my other videos please drop by my streams um i should be live from around 10 o'clock tonight and hit my socials up just so you can get updates in case there is any issues um i will be playing blood bowl i've still involved in the league and that i think it's coming to a close though so whether i stick around for another season or not i don't know i probably will but it's been a bit of a faff arranging games at times to be honest but um, we'll see what we can do but yeah in the meantime have a good one and i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching